Okay, I apologize to the Service Employees International Union who uh, started the movement for uh, Fight for 15, but in history, there's been always this uh, struggle between uh, how uh, people can get into the workforce, uh, how they become productive employees, and uh, how, mu how the labor costs affect uh, productivity. And uh, throughout the 20th and 21st century, Technolo technological innovations have gone so far as to make some uh, positions obsolete and uh, other positions easier to uh, do. And while it's becoming more convenient for, uh, for uh, companies and uh, us to uh, do things, uh, people who are work behind the scenes helping you are being let go. And for example, uh, when you have the, uh, we have uh, restaurant workers and other uh, workers who work in the buildings trying to get a living wage, they will either, uh, they'll petition uh, the uh, government for a regulation that would increase the minimum wage while businesses try to keep the cost low and uh, try to work around anything that happens if they uh, don't succeed in uh, having uh, things go their way. And one of those examples is this thing, this uh, desktop app uh, behind me that's used at several restaurants. So what happens there is that instead of uh, somebody taking your order, the uh, you just press buttons and you get your order. There's also some places that have beer taps that are metered, and they can scan your ID, and that so you, that replaces a worker. And also today is uh, tax day. How many people? Have uh, how many uh, people filed online today, or uh, some other time? And that's becoming an automated process too. You don't need to go to a uh, tax preparer. All the questions are asked and uh, solved by a computer. So what happens in five years is that the pace of technological advancement is going s so fast that a lot of uh, jobs are becoming uh, will become obsolete. And uh, that uh, things like uh, global outsourcing will make a lot of ha will ma put a lot of people out of a job. So uh, where do we go with that? But somebody has to do the work, and either through uh, the through the outsourcing or through uh, global uh, globalization, uh, it would be somebody out there or artificial intelligence takes over and uh, they uh, do the work instead of a human, and you don't have to pay artificial intelligence or a computer, but somebody has to do the computer programming or the support or the tech support, and if a customer who wants to uh, interact with a, uh, for either their uh, drink or for their uh, product or service, or even uh, their 911 call, if they want to uh, interact with a human, they don't want to go through the uh, voicemail hell. Uh, or through other uh, technological uh, barriers to uh, get things done. And this uh, eventually what happens is that if enough people are let go, they, there could be a demand destruction. People wouldn't be able to be paid. They wouldn't be able to shop for items. You have all these uh, products and services sold down at the merchandise mart. And they are they sell for a pretty penny. They try to get you uh, they try to get you to uh, have this uh, lifestyle, which many people cannot afford now because they can't uh, get work. If you look at the uh, if you I see that there's some uh, economics majors in here. There's a uh, chart put out by Frank Knight and by others called the circular flow of income, where households and firms uh, either uh, sell their services or sell their goods. And what could happen is that you could have a two-tiered economy where people who still have jobs will be able to uh, participate in that economy, but uh, the people who are left behind may have to start their own uh, circular flow of income, and since they're not experienced or attached to that uh, primary workforce, they would, uh, have, they would struggle uh, to uh, get by and they would, uh, they would struggle, and the, you'd have things like that happening. 
And we see this in uh, the gig economy. We see this with uh, globalized uh, workers who are from overseas providing services and uh, support for uh, us here. And also uh, people who are considered to be unauthorized workers who employers can take advantage of because uh, they can uh, prey on the uh, fear of the unauthorized worker who uh, might not be getting as much money as they're being reported to getting because uh, the employer knows they're unauthorized. So what do we uh, do about uh, automation? So if, enough, uh, if there's enough technology, Bill Gates suggests there's a, a basic universal income which means give everybody something to uh, provide, for the, provide for themselves, but anybody who can find work will probably have more, and you'll have some problem, the other problem with that because you'll have that two-tiered uh, economic structure. Okay, similar uh, to that idea is a, uh, is a uh, automation dividend where everybody has a uh, share in some sort of uh, robotic uh, idea or automation process, and they get money from the dividend based on uh, what the, uh, based on how productive that uh, process is. But again, you have that problem because some places, if you have more capital, would be able to uh, make more money and squeeze out uh, the uh, the workers who uh, or people who don't uh, have that much access to the uh, resources. But we can also have, you can also uh, have an idea of cooperative economics where everybody here or in the local area provides support for each other and while the big companies uh, work around the globe and maybe even ignore the uh, people who work locally, there will be some gap in some niche that uh, we can provide to uh, take care of ourselves and to uh, upgrade the standard of living. Ted Hallander of the Illinois CPA Society has an idea where you, uh, sell, your you sell your goods or services to strangers but you buy your goods and services from your friends because that way the uh, outflow, the inflow of income comes toward us and then uh, not away from us like you do if you buy online or buy through these uh, automated processes. So I, uh, so I uh, thank you for uh, listening and uh, have a good night.